friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's a Monday, so it's another meal prep day. I have some fun, easy, summery type of recipes for you that I'm so excited about. So if you are excited for meal prep, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click that little bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. All of the recipes that I share with you today, as well as all of my recipes for that matter, are on my website. I'll make sure that that is linked at the top of the description box for you. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer one-on-one -on -one macros and calories highly recommend taking advantage of that just so you know where you should fall every day to be most successful if you want to chat with me one-on-one -on -one, I do offer coaching as well links discounts to everything I shared with you today as well as all of my other favorite things and last but not least my Facebook group are all down in that description box so definitely check it out before you go so let's jump in to this weekly WW meal prep breakfast this week I am making copycat Starbucks egg bites I love their egg bites they're just really expensive so when I found this recipe I was super super stoked to make this for breakfast so really simple just a few ingredients of course you're going to need some eggs two slices of bacon this is just the pre-cooked bacon some Swiss cheese shredded so I'm going to have to shred this up some cottage cheese and salt and pepper so the first thing that I'm going to do is shred up my Swiss cheese. I need one full cup of shredded cheese. So into a medium to large bowl, we're going to go ahead and crack five eggs. Now we're going to add in one cup of cottage cheese, one cup of the shredded Swiss cheese, the two slices of cooked and crumbled bacon, salt, and pepper. And then we're going to stir this together until that mixture is completely combined. I'm going to spray at least six of my muffin cups with some nonstick cooking spray. We can always spray a few more if we have enough of the mixture. And then we're going to start adding the egg mixture into the muffin cup, about three quarters full. So I'm going to spray a couple more because I have enough of the mixture. Here are the egg bites. They're going in an oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. We just wanna make sure that the eggs are cooked completely through. I just pulled out the copycat Starbucks egg bites. You guys, these look delicious. As soon as they cool a little bit, I'll pop them out so I can show you what they look like. We'll go over all the points. Here's what these look like. Oh my gosh. I might just say these look better than Starbucks. They're so soft. I am so excited about these. So as you saw, I ended up making eight of the copycat egg bites. Each bite is three points on blue and purple and five on the green plan. Not bad at all, much less expensive to make these at home. And I was thinking a couple of the egg bites with some fruit would literally be the perfect breakfast. So that is my copycat, way less expensive Starbucks egg bites. For my lunches this week, I am making Instant Pot brown rice risotto. This is going to have my veggies, my protein, my carbs all in one meal. So for this recipe, you're going to need some chicken thighs. Now you can use chicken breast. This just makes it a little bit more juicy and delicious. And this is a pretty low point, low calorie lunch as it is with chicken thighs, some Parmesan cheese, asparagus, lots of mushrooms. You actually need an entire pound of mushrooms, some shallots, pepper, chicken broth, Brown rice, of course, you do not want quick cook brown rice. You just want traditional brown rice since we are cooking this in our Instant Pot. And then I have some avocado oil. 
The first thing I'm going to do is chop up my scallion and my asparagus for the risotto. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to the bottom of my pan, let it warm up, and then add in my veggies. I'm going to start with two packages of mushrooms. And then I have one cup of asparagus and one shallot. We're going to let this cook until the veggies are softened. Once your veggies are soft, we're just going to remove them from the Instant Pot and just put them in a bowl and set them aside. While your Instant Pot is still on the saute mode, we're going to go ahead and add in our chicken. We want to sear it on both sides. Once the chicken's seared on both sides, go ahead and add a little bit of pepper, one and a half cups of brown rice, and five cups of chicken broth. We're also going to turn our Instant Pot off. Now we're going to go ahead and put the lid on and set it to high for 25 minutes. So I just took the lid off, the Instant Pot went off, released the steam, and now I'm just going to kind of lightly shred up the chicken. It just falls apart. You can't even pull it out of the Instant Pot. It's so juicy and tender. So we're just going to lightly shred all of the chicken thighs. Once we've shredded the chicken, we're going to add back in all of our veggies and one quarter cup Parmesan cheese. Stir that together and lunch is ready. Look at how delicious this looks. It will thicken up even more as it sits. So I'm going to transfer this to a storage container and I'll be back to share points and the calories. I decided to go ahead and just put the risotto in one of my big, large mixing bowls. I have lids for these. I think that's the easiest way to store it. This big batch of risotto makes 12 servings. Now you can make this on the stovetop if you do not have an Instant Pot. Each serving is only four points on the blue and green plan and two points on the purple plan. Chicken is accounted for on all plans because we use thighs and not chicken breast, but this is a very low point lunch pair with your favorite fruit or maybe some yummy toasty garlic bread and you have a perfect lunch. For a summery sweet treat this week, I'm making lemon blueberry bread and this is actually going to be glazed bread so it could be a snack a dessert it's going to be fresh and delicious and i am pretty excited wait until you hear the points in a frosted or glazed bread so for the recipe you're going to need some salt vanilla extract a fresh lemon because you need the zest and the juice fresh or frozen blueberries whatever you prefer baking powder powdered sugar eggs Sweetener alternative of your choice. As always, I'm using Lakanto. I will link Lakanto down below for you guys with a discount. Both my sweetener and my powdered sugar are Lakanto. Light butter and all purpose flour. So to start our bread, we're going to add one and a half cups of all purpose flour to a pretty large bowl, a pinch of salt, and one teaspoon of baking powder. That's literally all I have left in my little container. And then we're going to just stir this to make sure that everything's mixed together. I'm going to add my lemon zest directly to my bowl. I'm going to zest this entire lemon. I really want this to be packed with that real fresh lemon flavor. I'm also going to juice it as well right into this bowl. I'm then adding about a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. The recipe calls for one full cup of sugar. I'm going to substitute a half because it just gets too sweet with those sugar alternatives for me. So I'm gonna have the amount of sugar that the original recipe requests. One third cup melted light butter. You can use a handheld mixer or just a spoon like I am. And I'm just going to gently combine this together, just folding in the wet and dry ingredients just until mixed. Make sure that you don't over mix. It just causes your bread to turn out a little bit more spongy instead of light and airy. I have one cup of blueberries here that I have rinsed off so they're still a little bit damp. And I'm going to add those to a bowl. And then I'm going to sprinkle in about a tablespoon of flour. And we're going to mix that together to coat those blueberries. This will prevent the blueberries from sinking down to the bottom of your loaf. And now we'll add those into the mixture. Fold those in nice and gently. Look how delicious this looks. It smells so summery and fresh. 
I'm going to spray my pan with a good amount of nonstick cooking spray. And then we're immediately going to transfer that batter into our baking dish. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees. We're going to put our bread into the oven for 55 to 60 minutes or until it's cooked completely through. One hour later. I just pulled out the bread. Doesn't this look incredible? My house smells like a bakery. I'm going to let this cool and we are going to put together that glaze that I promised for on top of our bread. Excuse the air fryer going in the background. I'm actually making my lunch. To my bowl here, I've added one half of a cup of powdered sugar. Again, this is the Lakanto. Two tablespoons of melted butter half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of lemon juice. And then we're going to stir this. It'll make a glaze consistency. And as soon as our bread is cooled, we'll add this right to the top. Time to glaze our bread. I went ahead and put it on a piece of saran wrap just to keep the glaze from getting all over my cutting board here. So I'm just going to drizzle this right over the top, allow it to sink into all those cracks, and then we'll be back to share points and calories. All right, I cut it in to 10 slices. The recipe makes 10 slices. This seriously looks bakery incredible. And each slice is only three points. Can you even believe it? Three points for a slice of lemon blueberry bread. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me and definitely helps out my channel. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, of course, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you don't miss a single video. I do meal preps every Monday, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Of course, all the recipes are down in the description box on my website, as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, my Facebook group. We'd love to have you head on over there and join us as well. Happy Monday, friends. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.